Hi everyone, I've had so many requests on how to make a magazine bag, so I figured let's do a tutorial. Now this is my first ever tutorial, so be a little bit easy on me, because I don't really know what I'm doing, but I know what I'm doing. Yeah, and I'm a little bit sick right now, but I'm still going to do it because I have free time. So today, the bag we're going to be making is a giant one like this. Now this, I keep like extra paper and scrapbook stuff in here. So it's going to be this big, or around this big. And we're going to be making this one because I need to make a giant one like this for my friend whose birthday is coming up. So let's get to it. Part one, you're going to need to get magazine paper. Now recently in the mail, I got two books of prom dresses. And I figured that would be perfect because they're all pictures and they have excellent colors and it would be awesome to make a bag out of them. So what you're going to do is you're going to take a piece and you're going to fold it in half. Just like this. And then, once it's in half, you're going to fold it in half again. And then fold in half one more time. So that way you get a little strip like this. And it's very colorful. Now I already have pre-made strips already done. If you do them all exactly the same way, they will all be the same size and make your bag look much nicer. The next step for me is I cut mine down from this long to this long because I need to make the side. So what you're going to do next is make the first part of the weaving. You're going to take a top piece or a bottom piece depending on which side it ends up being and you take another piece and you put them at the corners of each other. Just like that. So you tape them down. And then take another piece and you put it on the other side. So I would put it on this side. And you're going to continue flip flopping them all the way down to the end. So when you're done, you should end up with something like this. So each one, front, back, front, back, front, back, front, back, all the way down. What I'm going to do next is take more of the top ones that are this length and weave them in and out. For example, go in and out, in and out, in and out, all the way up. And then take another one and do the same thing but go in the opposite direction. So out and in, out and in, out and in, out and in. So that way you end up something like that. So you're just going to weave them over, under, over, under, over, under. You're going to continue doing that all the way down. Of course they're going to be much nicer than this way once you fix them all up. Alright, so once you have them pretty much where you want them, what I personally like to do is tape down the edges of each of them so they don't go everywhere. One day I woke up and there was more to love. One day I woke up and there was more. should end up with something like this. And the next step is to take some packaging tape or any type of clear tape and just go over it to reinforce it. Alright, so when you're done, it should look like this. It just gives it a little glossy shine and it protects it and it makes it a little bit firmer. Now, on the big bag, this piece right here is this piece. Pretty much. It's going to be the side of it. Now, I have all of my other pieces already done. This is bottom, this is the other side. I also have two big sides. Now, what I like to do next is I take the bottom piece and I just tape all the sides to the bottom piece. Now, I forgot to mention, for the longer pieces, what you do is you just take two 
pieces of paper and then you just put them together and you tape them. Simple enough. <clears throat> Alright, so what I've done is I've taped all four sides to the bottom piece. That way it makes it much easier when I go to tape it all together and put it as a bag. Now the next step is just taping all the sides together. Now this part can get a little bit tricky, but with practice it just gets easier. Today I woke up and I found more to love. Today I woke up and I found more, more, more. Today I woke up and I found more to love. It's true. Okay. <laughs> magazine bag. Of course, as they get bigger, they get a little bit more complicated. But the smaller ones, like this one for example, is a lot easier to make. So that's all you gotta do. Just fold up strips, weave them together, and secure them with tape. And that's how you make a bag. So if you have any tips or comments, please leave them below. I am open to suggestions because this was my first tutorial, so I've never done this before. So tips and anything will help me. If you made your bag a different way, let me know. Maybe it's an easier way than this one. Giant bag. Alright, just secure it with tape and you're all set to go.